when our nation was in crisis, our leaders abandoned time-tested principles. Abandoned free market principles to save the free market system. This bill offends my principles, but I'm going to vote for this bill in order to preserve my principles. And America yearned for a new direction. They turned to an unlikely candidate who offered nothing but hope and change. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. is promoting bad behavior. This is America. How many of you people want to pay for your neighbor's mortgage that has an extra bathroom and can't pay their bills? Raise their hand. President Obama, are you listening? As the fabric of America was torn before their eyes, Americans began to demand change to the status quo in Washington once and for all to preserve this great nation for their children and grandchildren. Soon, a new breed of politicians were pledging to give Americans their voice back, to right the wrongs, and give the American people the government they were demanding. These politicians were rewarded with a record wave election that ushered in new leadership in the House of Representatives. But it didn't take long for those promises to be broken. Congress became even more dysfunctional. Crisis after crisis, delay after delay. Deeper in debt and despair with each passing day. Lines became so blurred, political distinctions erased, and many Americans became so fed up, they simply stayed home. Then, new leaders began to emerge. Leaders who began to buck the establishment and remain unwavering on their promises, regardless of political consequences. Now, 40 or so of these brave new leaders have brought us to the brink of real change in Congress, forcing the sitting Speaker of the House to resign, and is next in command to quickly step aside. These brave leaders that you sent to Washington are being assaulted by the media as crazies, hostage takers, and they're being attacked from within their own party. Yet they stand firm on their principles, unflinching, insisting the next Speaker of the House make it the People's House once more. This choice cannot be taken lightly. The Constitution says that members of the House choose their Speaker. To that, we say we must choose wisely.